And there is also the fact that what, what role, if any, uh, did the former standard bearer of this party, Mitt Romney, play in the middle of all of this? When I chatted with him, uh, he just said he had to do, clear his conscience, do this, felt compelled to say, look, look, this guy is not the guy we wanted. When I raised with him that, of course, he, he had sought out and gotten Donald Trump's backing four years ago, he said that, that Donald Trump is not the same man I remember four years ago. I mean, that doesn't matter. There are many cynics who look at it and say, well, we don't believe it. But there is division among those establishment players. They're not all on the same page here when it comes to stopping Donald Trump or, for that matter, Ted Cruz. Ben Stein, though, has gone so far as to say if Donald Trump were the nominee of the party, he would seriously consider voting for Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders. Now, were you drunk at the time you said this, <laughs> Ben? No, I wasn't drunk, but actually the conversation was mostly about trade policy. That all seems to have been forgotten in all the wild brouhaha about my brief conversation. Uh, Where are we I, having I, this conversation? I have thought of... I, had, I was in a studio in Washington, D.C. I was, uh, with great respect, I've thought about it prayerfully, and I cannot vote for Hillary because I cannot vote for a candidate who's not pro-life, even though Hillary, I think, has a superior position on a trade to Mr. Trump's. I cannot vote for a candidate who's not pro-life. Pro-life for me is the single biggest issue. All right, so, so we take Hillary uh, out I of take it. It's it Hillary and Trump. Who do you go for? Oh, I have to vote for Trump because even though I don't like him, he says he's pro-life, and uh, okay. that's more than saying you're not pro-life. So real quickly, Sanders, pro, uh, Sanders, and Trump. Oh, a Trump without question. How about Trump? All right, so now you've just. I mean, I'm I'm pro-life. Pro-life. I, I understand pro that, but then all this stuff we had building into you that you were so uh, you know concerned about Donald Trump, you'd never vote for him. There are two cases where you would. No, no, no. I would not like to vote for him. But I, and maybe I'll vote just vote for you, Neil, or maybe I'll vote for Dagan, who really should be president. Absolutely. Oh Dagan would be the best possible president, but I cannot vote for a person who's not pro-life. I simply cannot All right, do so it. you misrepresented yourself coming on this show. I'm afraid I didn't misrepresent myself. <laughs> Nobody asked me what the even topic that the topic was going to be. Ben, I, you, I you have realize to talk about any topic at all, but I'm not going to vote for a candidate who's not pro-life. Ben, you realize that Sorry. Neil is basically saying, uh, good to see you. He, he's saying he's disappointed because uh, of the depth of your intellect, your conviction, and your values. I, I, that's the only thing that's upsetting. Well, I, I, the, my, exactly my intellect is not that deep, and, but I'm very passionately pro-life, and pro-life means a great, great, great deal to me. Pro-America, pro-life, that's what I um, am concerned about, and I think Mr. Trump is much more so in those veins than Ms. Clinton, although Mrs. Clinton and I were schoolmates at Yale, and she was a charming so young woman and a lovely person, <laughs> but uh, I'm not going to vote for a person who is not pro-life. You know, it, it, Yale had a big year that year. I mean, I've heard talk to more people right. who went no, no, to school. She was two years behind. She, I was saying, I was just talking to John Bolton, me. Ben, the other day, and he also, one of your, your, your classmates. But as between two... Well, he's a super smart guy. Yes, he is. He's uh, a genius. No wonder you guys are in the same class. The two... The, the no, two, he's much smarter than I am. Uh, well, we'll debate that throughout the evening, but... But he's uh, not at all funny. <laughs> the, the reality <laughs> is that we're confronted with a choice for you first uh, between Cruz uh, and Trump. Um, between those two... Oh, I'll take Cruz in a heartbeat because Cruz, I think, is not a perfect human being, as none of us is, except for Dagan. But My uh, this Cruz, is very uh, I think, is, is on many not, levels. Cruz, Cruz is a person who's revealed. not filed bankruptcy. Cruz has not filed bankruptcy to uh, defeat his uh, bondholders and his investors. He's not a person who's made a habit out of philandering in the media. Well, now uh, wait a minute. He's, ben, he's what, a much more straight can up I ask citizen. a question, please? <laughs> what? Yes, please. <laughs> what bankruptcy have you ever witnessed in which they did not try to defeat their creditors? Oh, no, 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 no. This was, th this was way worse than that, Lou. This well, was, I, I, this was way was, worse than that. This I was, was afraid like, of that. I was which just making a joke. His bondholders, about bankruptcy which he of all made things. promises to... He made promises to his bondholders, which yes. he, uh, it was quite clear uh, once the case went to trial or once there was discovery that he never intended to honor those promises. He would those not promises. be the first I mean, businessman that would have done that. Cut. He would uh, not this be is the, the first, first time I've heard of no, businessmen. He would not. I agree. Right. I agree. And, and John Dillinger was not the, the first person to rob a bank, and I don't want to have him as president <laughs> either. By the way, what do you think of what Mitt Romney was doing? Um, a lot of people are, are saying he's a hypocrite. He's just trying to steal the election from... Uh, Donald Trump, what do you think? 
Well, I think Trump had him right when he said he's a choke artist. I mean, he could have won that election against Mr. Obama. He should have won it. He blew it. He threw it away in the second debate in the last presidential election. I think Trump is right about that. I don't think Romney has any business uh, claiming to be a great expert in how to win elections. And I don't, by the way, I don't consider him the world's most heads up businessman either. I don't think he's a super clean cut guy as far as business is concerned. And maybe there aren't any. And maybe we don't want a businessman as president. Well, maybe president. you're not taking maybe a face value that he's genuinely appalled by the language, the tone, the tenor of this entire uh, content. What a sensitive thing. And thought. I am appalled too. Yeah, and all right. Daniil, I am appalled too. I am all right. disgusted. Well, take it at face value. Don't be such a cynical, jaded. Changing your mind constantly, economist, actor, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. You he's know? never changed Renaissance his mind man. about me. No, no, he's never. Love no, you, I will never change Ben's my mind about Dave. Ben is a genius. They, no, with all due respect, don't start uh, that way because of criticism. I was trying coming. to do his best. All right. Romney was trying to do his best to help the party, yes, and was. God bless him, and right. he's right. Trump well, has elevated, has de-elevated, so de-escalated political right. rhetoric to okay. a level so low it would have been unimaginable a few months ago. And just for and that reason he alone, about. he is a very undesirable person. All right, it's time for a group hug. Sorry? Uh, ben, I want to thank you very, very much. As he was wrapping up... Well, it's my pleasure, of course, and to see Dagan oh, was well God. worth the trip wow. across town. Holy cow. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm declaring my candidacy for the presidency. Jeez. <laughs> so